hello friends today i am going to tell you what is cbmt logging and how we will perform this logging how we will come to know the quality of the cement how uh, we can take the readings what are the tools we used in this logging and all the things uh, that would help you uh, to perform the cbmt logging so here is the question what is cbmt logging cbmt logging is cement board imaging tool which is denoted by cbmt see why we use cbmt logging here is the question why we use cbmt logging see basically cbmt logging is used to check the cement bond between the casing and the formation it analyzes the quality of the cement between the layers of the formation and also the seals of between the casing and the formation here you can see that these are this is the uh, these are the logs which shows the readings of the cbmt logging this is the gamma ray which i will explain you uh, after uh, completing this and this is these are the six arms of the cbmt tool which i will also explain you in detail and this shows the quality of the cement uh, see this yellow this yellow color shows that the cement is not good and this uh, this brown color shows that the dark brown color shows that the cement is very good okay now how the cbmt works the cbmt imaging tool see this is the diagram of the cbmt tool this shows the uh, pairs of the there are six pairs of the cbmt tools the cement bonding log is designed to motor arm structure these are the arms of the uh, CBMT tools and they are uh, of six pairs okay which divides into some uh, circumferential borehole into six sectors what are these sectors and actually measure the quality of the cement bond see these sectors are from see these sectors are from zero there are six arms huh? okay so these sectors are from arm number one it it uh, take the readings from 0 to 60 degree then another arm from 60 to 120 degree and the third arm 120 to 180 degree fourth arm 180 to 240 degree fifth arm to 40 to 300 degree and the sixth arm the last arm 300 to 360 degree in these six sectors they complete the 360 degree readings which is very accurately measure the quality of the cement bond it measures the accurate cement measure of the cement bonding uh, the pad is designed with double transmitted props in wave superposition and the transducers are furred in the time delay and compensation the energy loss due to acquisition is scattering these pairs have the transducers which, which is used to help to uh, take the readings the acquired signals of the pairs are arranged in a cross section uh, position to achieve the compensatory measurement and minimize effect of the borehole environment it used to minimize the effect of borehole the environment the cbmt combines the conventional of uh, density measurement casing color locator and the gamma rays measurements which i will explain you uh, in this video see the advantages of the cbmt tools are it measure the three 60 sectors okay and the motor pair design provides high accuracy cable to identify the channel and holes inside the hole it can be used highly deviated and horizontal wells also it minimizes the effect of the borehole environment it shows the visual cement map that i will show you i have also show you in the uh, in the figure that it shows the uh, uh, visual of the cement see now uh, it shows the real time quality measure monitoring you can get the live data at the at your wireline unit or uh, the logging unit it integrated variable density measurement in logging tool string these are all the advantages of the tool now see this is the uh, cbmt string the uppermost portion is the cable head cable head is basically used it is the uppermost portion of the total is tool string on wireline 
द केबल हेड इज वेयर द कंडक्टर वायर इज मेड इन टू दैन इलेक्ट्रिकल कनेक्शन दैट कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द टूल्स दिस केबल हेड इज यूज टू कनेक्ट द वायर एंड द टूल स्ट्रिंग दिस इज यू कैन सेट द ब्रिज और यू कैन सेट द टूल विच कनेक्ट द वायर एंड द टूल स्ट्रिंग टूगेदर and this is the swivel it is you can say that is just a crossover which connects the uh, case head and, uh, cable head and the C, uh, another tool to another uh, to the tool string now see this is the ccl ccl is a casing collar like locator it is used to it is used to detect the uh, collars are available inside the casing ccls are typically used for depth correlation it is used for the correlation of the logs it works as two magnets are separately by a coil of copper wire there are the two magnets installed which used to detect the distance between the uh, between the iron string or you can say that the between the casing uh, as the ccl passes the casing joint or collar the difference in metal thickness across the two magnets induces a current spike in the coil this current spike is called a collar kick on the cased hole see this 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 ccl how it works there are two magnets and it is you know, used to detect the uh, distance between the casing so we can we can detect that okay these these are the casing collars which i will explain you uh, in the in this video okay gamma ray uh, leave this gamma ray i will explain you in the end okay now see okay okay let me explain the gamma ray gamma ray see the, what why we use the gamma ray gamma ray is basically it is a tool which are which are designed to measure the gamma radiation in the earth across to uh, disintegration of naturally occurring potassium uranium and thorium the tools have a radiation sensor it have a radiation sensor and the tool recorded by this tool Uh, used to identify lithology estimated shell content and depth correlation of the future log see you can see this 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 figure this this uh, um, picture very well this is the depth 1050 meter this is uh, 1075 meter you can see this is uh, 150 around the if the graph sh li shows like this it says if if our value of the uh, gamma ray reading is between 80 to 150 the graph shows like this see the graph shows like this the it is a shell see this is a shell if there is a sand stone and the readings is from 15 to 30 degree see clean sand and the readings is from 15 to 30 degree this is the reading graph from 0 to 150 and the reading shows from 15 to 30 degree okay if there is a limestone so the reading is between 10 to 20 degree see the reading is between 10 to 20 degree if there is dolomite the reading is 8 to 15 if there is um, anhydrite the reading is equal to or uh, less than 15 if there is sal the reading is 5 10 if there is like see this if there is coal the reading is uh, below 5 if there is shell the reading is again 80 to 140 if there is limestone or dolomite the reading is between uh, 10 8 to 15 like this so this gamma ray shows the lithology of the of the earth it it shows the shell content or the rock formation available at the uh, inside the earth okay now we can come okay this is the acoustic dig, uh, digitizer Wha this is the tool which is used with the cbmt tool acoustic digitizer is a ultrasonic technique for obtaining layer thickness and also used to detect cracks flaws or void within the solids this tool is used to detect is used to measure is used to obtain the layer thickness and also used to detect the cracks flaws or voids within available in the solids see this is the four arm centralizer this is a tool four arm centralizer that i will explain you in the uh, in, in further on and this is the picture of the centralizer that shows that there are four arms okay and this is our main tool segmented bond tool which is six arm uh, cbmt tool and uh, i will show you how it will be, uh, how it will works see in the acoustic uh, acoustic uh, digitalizer 
the when the rays are passes it shows the reading like this right like, like the you know the the live session in the uh, wireline logging unit see it shows this is the reading which which, is, which we get from the acoustic digitizer okay now this um, this segment bound tool vdl uh, sub is also the part of the cbmt tool and in the end we use the bull plug uh, friends as you see this cbmt log is now opening is now in open condition uh, we have give the command from the wireline or logging unit and now it's open uh, while running in hole we close the cbmt log and when we reach at a target depth then we open the cbmt log like this and then we take the recordings these are the six arms which shows the which takes the reading as i told you before that from 0 to 60 degrees 60 to 120 120 to 240 240 to 300 like 360 now you see this is closing now we we are closing this uh, cbmt tool now it's almost closed so when it will be closed we will go run when we will start run in hole uh, see friends now this is the this is the logs which i am going to explain you uh, this red line shows the gamma rays which i will explain you it it tells us the lithology of the rocks that the shale is present sandstone limestone dolomite every log it it shows the uh, it detects the uh, lithology of the rocks and these all are the arms of the uh, arms of the cbmt tool which i explain you that it it is divided into sectors from 0 to 60 degree from 60 degree to 120 degree from 120 to 180 degree 180 degree to 240 degree to 40 to 300 and 300 to 360 degree it records all the uh, it, it shows the uh, you can say that the quality of the uh, tools uh, which records the data and these are the ccl this 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 shows this is the caller ccl casing caller locator this is the caller and this red line shows the maximum average of the tool is working and this is the blue line shows the average of the tool the the quality of the tool that working and this green line shows the minimum uh, of the quality of the the, the arms that are working okay this all three lines are belonging to the tools and these six 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 graphs are also belonging to the tool okay now see the quality of the cement here is very bad and this ccl this shows the ccl the cement is very good inside this and the cement is very good inside this also but the cement between the casing is not good and you can see the line uh, okay uh, see and these are the names of the tools uh, sc2 sc4 sc3 sc5 these are the names of the arms that we are using for the cbmt tool and this is the casing colors okay now see i want to show you uh, the quality of the cement see this is the quality of the cement here the cement is not good but here the dark brown color shows that the cement is very good in this depth and see <clears throat> this graph is shows that the line is not missed huh? so cement is uh, not good here and here it shows that the cement is good but the graph is is not showing like this this is also the indication that the cement is good good over here like this here the cement is not good this is the casing collar locator okay this is the cement is not good cement is not good cement is not good the cement is little bit good cement is little bit good okay this is good uh, why we we need to check the cement uh, the quality of the cement it is very important my friend because when we want to set the packer or when we want to set anything inside the casing so the cement quality we need to check it because 
if the packer will be set at the place where the cement is not good so it may leak it may the the oil or gas the fluid may leak uh, from the from the packer element to the surface so in this uh, to in this scenario we need to check the cement and to install the packer inside the casing uh, where the good quality of cement is available see this is the good quality of cement this is very good and this is little bit okay see but this this section shows that cement is very 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 poor so uh, we avoid to set the packer in this depth because the cement is very poor like this the cement is very uh, cement is little bit good this shows okay the cement is good okay okay this cement is very good over here this is the casing collar locator this shows the, the there is the joint of the casing the cement is very good okay the cement is very good excellent okay the cement is very good very good very good okay so you see that uh, now uh, these are the uh, uh, for the ccl is this this is for the gamma ray red line this line shows the tool dtmx this is for the tool tool these all are for the arms this is for the um, uh, tools uh, uh, identification like this okay I hope you you understand uh, uh, the CBMT logs and how we detect it.